up? What's good? So, today, I don't know if I can necessarily put a title on it, but I had a major, major discovery in reference to relationships. So, um, yesterday I was driving and I was listening to, I've been listening to this book, Mastering Your Mean Girl by Melissa Ambrosini. Great book, by the way. Great book. So, um... And, and she says uh, this one particular line in the book, and she says, she said, all of our relations, relationships are, are a mirror of, uh, mirror of ourselves, right? So she went on to say that when, you know, before we're quick to judge another person, we have to look at, you know, what is it within myself that I'm seeing in this other person? Because it's, it's, you know, whenever we are looking at another person and we're looking outward, then we are, it's definitely something inside of us because we recognize it, right? So, um, so I saw that and then, like I've been reading this book, I finally finished it. But this is, uh, and I, and I was like, she just said that literally in another quote that I read. And so then I went back to the book. I said, I need to find this quote. I need to find this. Because the other thing was, you know, that she said in the book, she said, you know, we search our whole lives to find a perfect mate when really we have to find the perfection within ourselves. So I was like, hmm, that was the first thing. So the first thing that I thought about was that really the most important relationship that we will ever have in our life is the one that we have with ourselves. It literally, I literally thought to myself, I said, dang, this just aha moment. So we sit and we're searching for something outside of us our entire lives. We say, oh, I have this perfect relationship. But really the most important relationship that we will ever encounter is the one that we have with ourselves. I thought that was absolutely amazing to me. You know, because I realized when I read that, I said, you know, there essentially is nothing outside of me. Any type of relationship that I encounter, it is a direct reflection of what's going on inside of me. So this led me to this quote. So she said, that element is you. You are the key ingredient of every relationship in your life. Now here comes the hard part. The part we have, we always have difficulty accepting. What we struggle with in our relationships, particularly our love relationships, reflects very clearly, I might add, our own inner conflict. So when I read that, because I I was driving and it really came to me, I was like, you know what? All of my relationships are a direct reflection, direct reflection of the conflict of the relationship I'm having with me. So I look back on all the relationships, like my romantic relationships in particular, And I look back at how they kind of manifested, right? So I realized that the reason that that I even engaged in some of these situations was because, like, the inner message, I I was rejecting myself over and over. I was telling myself I wasn't good enough, all of this. So... A lot of times, like, when I, when I would first meet people, they would be so into me. And I would be like, oh, I'm not interested. I like a challenge. I don't, you know, all this stuff, you know, instead of just being open to receiving love or whatever. But the minute they rejected me, I was totally interested, right? But that was because I was rejecting myself inside. Like, the, the conflict that I was having with myself. You know, the relationship I was having myself, I was rejecting myself over and over. I was constantly telling myself, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. So when the person rejected me, then I would feel like, okay, well, now I have to prove how worthy I am. And so it all came back to worthiness. So what I started to realize is like when I say that I am trying to like when we start talking about we trying to fix this relationship we trying to fix you know whatever whatever really the one that we have to focus on is the one with ourselves because I think the more that the relationship with ourselves improves our inner relationships improve our outer relationships are going to improve as well because we are they're direct reflections like they go hand in hand they they go together right and so I even thought about um about my past relationship I said you know because of the messages I was telling myself over and over inside like the inner conflict and again let me remind you I was completely out of touch completely out of touch so you know 
when 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 certain things were being said, it may not have meant anything, right? But because of the messages I was telling myself, you are not good enough, you're not worthy, it's something wrong with you, you're flawed, you're done, you're not good enough, all this stuff. So anytime I get any criticism, it's gonna reflect what I'm feeling in here. So essentially what it comes down to is our perceptions, what we see on the outside is a direct reflection of what's going on up in here. And so that allowed me to see, I said, you know what? I said, more so, truly, more than ever. And and yesterday was kind of a shifter for me because um, it was a reminder that I still got a lot of work to do. Like I have, I will say that probably the this second half of this year has been amazing as far as the growth that I've done. But yesterday it was just a reminder. It was like, dude. We still got work to do. But this is the thing. This was, I think this was the positive from yesterday was, you know, I sat with whatever feeling I had until I got to the bottom of it. You know, I didn't run from it. And and I really looked back because I was like, this has nothing to do with anyone else. This this is not, no. This, this is something right here. Only I can solve this. This is, you know, I definitely didn't go to victim. This is what this person, No. Look inside, like, the, and, and I think the more that we can improve their relationship with ourselves, our outer world is going to completely change. And so, you know, really for me yesterday, as, as far as me recognizing that, number one, my relationships are a direct reflection of how I feel about myself. They're a direct reflection of, of the inner conflict within me, what's going on with me, that my, my outer relationships represent what's going on in here. And, you know, it, it made me realize the importance of I have to continue to focus on me even more so now because I realize that I want the relationship within myself to grow, to change, to shift, to continue to be better so that, you know, my outer world, the situations that I involve myself in, they reflect that. You know what I'm saying? And I think, again, the more fool we get as people, the more love, more love that we have for ourselves is, um, I think the, the more that, you know, the more that our outer world changes as far as, you know, the people we deal with, the thing, you know, the type of people that are around us, all of that, just positive vibes, positive positive energy. And so I, I, I even, I even started thinking like a step further. I was saying, you know, like, it's almost like our relationship with ourselves. It's just like, you know, dating somebody, right. You know, but it's, it's almost like we have to kind of go through those same things that we're willing to do for other people. We got to be really willing to do it for ourselves because this is the thing that I also know to be true is like, I can even see the fact that now that I'm more willing to go all in for me, that I'm no longer willing to engage in doing things that are half, like, excuse my French, but half ass. Like, it's hard for me now to say, I'm just going to do this lot last of days. I can't, I can't do it anymore because I know what it's like to give myself 100. So I can't engage in situations in which I'm going 50, 50 miles an hour when I want to go 100, or I can't go 10 and I want to go 100. I, I can't do it. So... You know, it's just, it's really showing me that that I need to continue to go through that process. And, and we really have to reflect, you know, everything that's happening around us, no one is doing anything to us, folks. No one is, no one is victimizing us. We really are truly the authors of our own story. And I continue to say that over and over. And I've, I've literally, like, this theme has resonated the entire week, is that it is all about us. And the relationship with ourselves is crucial. Like, I wouldn't even say that it is a minimal thing. It's huge. It is almost everything. If we want to, you know, our, our relationship with ourselves is a direct mirror to what's going on the outside. So the more that we improve, the more that we grow as people, then our relationships on the outside, they're going to change because it's our inner conflict. It's, it's, it's how our perceptions are created because what we're feeling in here, you know, like I said, I was resonating to the world. I'm not enough inside. That's what I felt. So everything that I perceive, every relationship that I encounter kind of reiterated that I am not enough. I am not enough. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm not worthy, things like that. So that was my big takeaway today. The most important relationship that we will ever have in our life is the one that we have with ourselves because it is a direct reflection. It is a mirror. Our outer relationships are a mirror to the relationship we have with ourselves. And so as that improves, as that grows, we shift, as we shift as people, our relationships change as well because, again, love is the center of all of this, baby. It's all love. 
It's all about love. So please subscribe. Please share. Because guess what, baby? It's all love. But it's the Dorky Jot signing off, baby. And I'm out.